Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the SSD on your Dell Latitude 5290. This video is also applicable to the 5285. So the device initially comes with a 256 gigabyte SSD, but if you use it like me, it's probably getting full. So at one point or the other, you will need to either buy a new device or something that you can do in these devices is upgrade the SSD. So I've got two SSDs here. I've got the one terabyte by Western Digital and I've got the 2512 from Samsung. The process is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to take you through what you need to do before you remove the device and then the process of physically installing it in the device and one you need to do afterwards. So stay tuned. Before we do anything or change or install the new SSD into the device, it is important to back up files. So you need um, to back up your files to your cloud storage. Any pictures, any documents, they need to be copied there. Now, uh, the SSD installations can be done in different ways. There's one that we won't be covering, which is um, drive cloning, which would, will require additional uh, cable and um, cloning the drive to another but if you copied the files if you copied your file to your cloud storage i'm going to show you another option which is to create a usb stick which will allow you to um, to boot up with a usb stick once you've installed a new ssd so what you need is a usb stick so i've got a scan disk here um, if you can, um, 16 gig um, should be okay. So we put it there. This one is already has already got um, data on it. So I'm going to um, delete it um, and even format it. I'm going to format the drive and I'm going to say yes. And uh, format complete so now i'm going to go to the web I'm going to the web and i am going to go to uh, i'm going to accept and then i'm going to go here and type microsoft windows media tool creation tool so then it takes me to this page and then I go into there to the Microsoft page and then I scroll down and download oops, download the media uh, the media tool so I'm going to download the media tool as you can see there it's downloading 18 meg so I open this and then I say yes and then it starts getting things ready apparently so it's basically going to create um, this process will create a USB stick which allow you as I was saying to boot up um, your Dell device um, through the uh, USB stick and then you'll be able to um, install the um, Windows operating system onto the uh, the new SSD. So I'm going to accept. And then. Getting a few things ready, allegedly. Okay, so uh, I've got the option here. Uh, upgrade this PC now, create installation media. So this is the one we want. So the second option, and then we click on next. Okay, so now it's asking me um, what language. So um, for me, my region, English United Kingdom and um, the Windows version and the um, the version of Windows. So on my device here, I've got a 64-bit uh, version. So um, click on Next. So 
it says 8 gig so I go 8 gig and then yes and now it's preparing and downloading Windows Okay, so now we are ready, now that we've done the uh, USB um, bootable disk, so now we're ready to remove the old SSD, so the usual six screws. And now we are ready to remove the LCD panel so so then we just need to let's so using this easier okay that's you can hear it as you go along and clipping So that's the uh, the screen off. Now the SSD is there. So that's what we're going to remove now. So we're going to undo that little screw. And then lift this up. And then, so that was a 256 SSD. And um, we are now going to install the Samsung. So I've got the one terabyte as well, but for this exercise, we're going to do the um, using this one. Okay. So then we put it here. And then we put the screw back put the screw back so basically that's all um, then we close this and okay it's coming on it's not going to detect basically it's coming up no bootable devices found so at this stage uh, I'm not going to put the screws back, but you can put the screws back. I just want to make sure that it works first. So um, now we're going to reattach the the travel keyboard. So we're going to attach the travel keyboard. Okay, and then turn this off. And then we are going to use the um, bootable drive that we created and now we're going to boot up turn it on and try press f12 it's asking us after pressing f12 that it wants to know where we which one we want to boot so we're going to select the sand disk, which is the one that uh, we created earlier. So enter. There's the Windows screen coming up. Okay, so you need to select the language depending on your region. United Kingdom is what uh, where I am, so voila, and install. So 
So depending how, as you can see, the process is quite easy. Let's see what comes up. So yes, accept the license terms and then Windows. And then it wants to, uh, so we select that partition and now it's going to start copying the, uh, the files. So this one should be quite fast because the drive is a lot faster than the previous one. Okay, so now it's asking me to select the region. So let's go ahead and select the region. Yes. And yes. No. Uh, no. Select. Uh, skip. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to uh, skip so then I'm not going to go through the um, this but um, you will need to set up configure the Wi-Fi and but I'm not going to do that so uh, my Dell and then click then and now uh, a lot of questions and now it's and now it's um, getting there um, after Windows starts completely you will have um, additional task updates synchronizing things and um, so voila so it's up and running uh, so let's go to um, file manager we go to file manager and then we go to there you are the uh, 500 gig is there and um, yeah so this is the um, the USB drive um, yeah so that's uh, that's there. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'll be posting some more about this device and the upgrade. So thank you for watching. At this stage, if you haven't put the screws back, put them back now. There's a, and then the other drive, um, I would keep it for now uh, until you're satisfied that you haven't lost any data. Okay, thank you for watching.